1,000 feet, turn left on to CR6. Speed warning. Good Wednesday morning, guys. Today is the 28th, January. Um, yeah, had an extended long weekend that I didn't want. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Man, the uh, loads just weren't popping up. Uh, and the loads that were available, like down in Tunkhannock, they were, you know, picking up Tuesday. And uh, a lot of them were delivering, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, 12.30 in the morning. Um, 12.30 I didn't mind so much because I don't mind going, I'd rather go to bed late than get up early. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't end up getting, I didn't get that load. Um, I didn't. I tried booking the load for four o'clock in the morning, which wasn't a big fan of. But if I got it for the right, I was booking, trying to get it for. I would have been okay with it. <clears throat> so um, I ended up sitting home Monday. I uh, pretty much did the same exact thing yesterday on Tuesday. Zero point two miles turn right on LSP Road. This is just gonna be stupid. Um, here we are, today's Wednesday. So 9 o'clock this morning, I I set up this load here, which is, uh, right now it's 1045. Um, we're on our way. It says 135 miles, but we're a lot closer than that. I'm doing a little back road, so I don't have to hit tolls just right now. Um, just to get over towards Rochester, we're picking up in, oh, that's right, that's that 1211 bridge, that's why I can't kind of avoid that spot. Um, anyhow, uh, Um, this load is picking up Lancaster, New York, going over to uh, somewhere in Ohio. Um, where the heck is it going? It's going to Micadon Micadonia, Micadonia, Ohio. Uh, it's picking up from Great Dane. It's a brand new Great Dane trailer, I'm assuming. And uh, it's going over there to uh, Extra Lease extra release trailers so get over there we'll get it picked up and get rolling with it see how we make out um for the next three days i'm running without without a uh, air filter and the biggest reason is because my air filter gauge is broken and i'm kind of worried about It being overly clogged, it's just making a, a funny noise, like it's, it's pretty clogged. So I don't want to take a chance on it doing what it did the last time that it was clogged and I didn't realize it. Not just that I didn't realize it, I didn't understand it. Um, I, was, I was very ignorant on the subject and uh, I didn't know exactly how the gauge worked. And I thought I had plenty of time on it, but apparently it was actually full. So, it is what it is. But that gauge isn't working anymore. It had cracked and I haven't replaced it yet. And, uh, but when it was clogged, it ended up causing my DPF and my one box to, to blow out. And I guess it has something to do with the back pressure um, that it ends up basically collapsing itself and breaking the weld on the inside, uh, which is what happened to me back when I was with Schneider. I don't have a warranty to cover it this time. So, uh, to save myself $8,000 and having to replace the one box again, I just pulled the air filter out uh, just until Friday so that I know that I can get the 
uh, get a new air filter. I technically have the money to get it right now. Um, but after after Christmas and everything, I'm just trying to get back on my feet here. Uh, getting the new year rolling. Um, if it was if it was in the middle of the summertime where it's all dusty and you got everything floating around and shit, I'd get it on immediately. But being that we're in the middle of the winter, I'm, I'm really not worried about it. So. We'll get it on there soon enough, and uh, we'll go from there. So, I'll show you guys the trailer when we pick it up. All right, here we are. Nothing spectacular. Just a regular drive-in trailer. Good looking tires. Air slide, mud flap bracket, check our lights, everything's working. I love these handles, especially when you're Ooh, I'm stuck a little bit. There we go, just a seal sticking a little. Something up there. Not know I'm worried about. There ain't no damage to the trailer. But these handles are, are excellent for for locking in right like that. Right into there. They lock in the same exact way as this. I got those two holes. And the door can't go anywhere. It's freaking awesome. In fact, I know none of this matters to you guys, but this is mostly for me. Let's see how many miles this thing has on it. 84,400 miles. Oh, everything looks in good shape. What's up, guys? Uh, today is Thursday. We made our delivery, ended up being first thing this morning, so I'm just going to tie this video in with yesterday's video. Um, right now we're picking up another power only. Not exactly sure on where I need to be, but I'm going to go check in real quick. I just got here. And, uh, I'll show you guys what I'm getting in a second. All right, here it is. We got us a an asphalt tanker. We'll go through and look it over real quick. We've got this this fender here. It's pretty dinged up. Got some rust here on the ladder that they sprayed over or welded on. Stuff like that's not going to matter to me. A little dinged up on the ladder. Brakes are... That looks like the brakes are pretty new. Tires are in good shape. First tanker I got behind my truck. Now the lights are working. Mud flaps. Temporary plate. Fender's in pretty good shape. A little dent out right there. Hands in good shape. 
Lots and well, lots of welds on this thing. Pretty sure that's just an inspection paper. You pop it open a little bit. And we got the front. I think I'm gonna slide the fifth wheel. Nah, I'll just leave it where it's at. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I know it wasn't much to it, but here's where we uh, ended up dropping it. Looks as good as it did when I picked it up. Truck looks a lot better. We stopped and got a truck wash this morning. It's not 100% great. It is what it is. I mean, after all the, the grime and crap that was on it. Here's where we're at. There's a bunch of tankers down back and stuff. But as far as the truck goes, you can see all that grind down there. Look at this. I think you guys might be able to make that out. Yeah, you can make that out. I mean, it's... A lot of that could be from, from driving up here, too. A lot of dust and stuff, but... I mean, I can see fingerprints here. So it's... It's not great. But it is what it is. So... With that said, uh, we're all done here. Um, there ain't nothing in the area for me to take. I'm gonna be home by dinner time. Uh, we got 267 miles, um, about four hours. It's giving us an ETA of 620 right now. So we'll probably beat that by about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, stay safe. We'll catch you next week. I don't know what we're doing next week, but we'll see you then. You were just standing there with the wind in your golden hair, didn't know your name. Time that our eyes wouldn't be, didn't know back then. And even in my wildest dreams, I didn't think that we could be together. Am I living in a fantasy? Or is this for real? Never thought that you could fall for someone like me. Never thought that you could fall for me Never thought that you could fall for someone like me Never thought that you could fall for me For someone like me For someone like me For someone like me For someone like me You see in me I'm not good for you Can you see That I will drag you down Here at the bottom I hope that you finally see I'm not good enough And even in my wildest dreams I didn't think that we could be together Am I living in Didn't think that